Hi, I'm Chris from DocuMoose. We make websites and applications, especially for law and legal aid. So we often wind up working with DocAssemble. And what I'd like to show you today is how to make a custom look and feel in DocAssemble. Um, you can actually do some pretty crazy things in, in DocAssemble. Let me give you an example from, from one of our, our, our clients. Write my rights who makes demand letters. Like, does this look like Doc Assemble to you? Right? There's animations, there's rounded buttons, and so on. You know, it it it, it looks great. It looks different. It looks unique. Now, you're probably familiar with what Doc Assemble looks like out of the box. This is what it looks like. It's neat, but it's not branded, right? And if you're going to use your Doc Assemble externally, you probably want at least at a minimum your colors, your logo, and and your fonts. And that's what we're going to look at at setting up. Um, so uh, DocAssemble, it's, it's based on, on Bootstrap, the, the UI. This is a, boot, um, a UI framework. And uh, if you click here for on, on, on Bootstrap and go to their GitHub repository, there's a really good little helper in here that we need for designing. In their examples, it's uh, this one here, start, SAS and JS. So SAS is a CSS precompiler. It lets you make one change to a SAS variable, and then it, it like changing a color, for instance, and then it might make a hundred updates to your CSS. It's a way to deal efficiently with, and make huge changes to CSS. So to install this, you need a few things installed on your computer. You need Node running and NPM and so on. So we're kind of assuming you already know how to do that. Uh, if so, and if not, you're going to need a web developer to do this. Um, but if you do have it running, you just clone this repo and then start it. So I've already done that in, in Visual Studio. Well, I haven't started it. I'm going to start it right now. And what this repo has, the two important things to look at are this styles scss that's the sas file right here and then from this sas file it generates styles.css and this is a minified uh, css file you don't want to touch this this is what's generated from the sas so let me show how you uh, what, what what this does once i once i run this if i go into my web browser and uh, go to uh, localhost uh, 3000, um, it's running this uh, server right now for me. If I go over here and do something like uh, change the background color to a, a hideous red and save that, you can see that in my terminal, it's recompiling that file. And now if I go back and refresh, now that's an ugly red. <laughs> Okay, let's go to local uh, my local host, which I'm going to run on 127.0.0.1. This is my local install of DocAssemble. And over here, I've got an interview I'm working on. It's based on a real one for a real client of ours, People's Law School. I'll actually just show it, show, show it to you. Here's People's Law School. Great website for getting legal, easy-to-use legal information. Uh, for British Columbia, Canada, uh, where their agency of record, and actually they just won uh, an award for best content experience at the Vancouver UX Awards. Uh, it's a prestigious award in British Columbia, so we're pretty proud of them. Uh, so what we want to do is get this interview to look like them with their logo and with their colors and with their font and so on. So. What I'm going to do in my interview, you've seen this little features thing at the top of DocAssemble interviews, and I'm going to tell it that I want to grab the CSS from styles.css. That's a local file. Now, in my static files over here, I'm going to create a new file called styles.css. And in that file, I am going to put a little bit of code here this code right here and this line is commented out once we're ready for production we're going to uncomment that but i'll come to that later and this line is uncommented and it says look on the local host for styles.css okay so i save that now if i did this all properly when we save and run this interview, we're going to have a hideous red background. Yes, we do. So we know it's coming through.
All right, now I'll go back to Visual Studio and I'm going to put that back to white. I'm going to save it and it's going to regenerate it. And then when I go back to my interview and reload, now it's white again. Great. Now, just so you know, we've got a repo on GitHub that you can look at to uh, help you through this SAS file and help you through these steps. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I, I want to uncomment some of these modules that they have commented in the, in the Bootstrap SAS here. For example, DocAssembly uses the nav bar. We need that. So we need to uncomment it. So I've got a list of things that I want to uncomment, and I'm just going to copy it from my GitHub repo to make this a little bit faster. I'm going to go like so and paste. All right, now I've got all the utilities I need. Okay, so first I want to fix my font. So you know how Google gives you um, the, uh, the, the, the font code to put at the top of your document? Well, that's what I'm going to do, right? The very top, I'm going to import the two Google fonts using the code that Google gives me. You can see I'm importing Montserrat and I'm importing Open Sans. And now a little lower down the file, I'm going to use some SAS variables to include my fonts, like so. There we go. So I'm saying my sans serif font should be Open Sans. My font, my heading should be Montserrat. I'm going to save that. You can see my file is recompiling at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to go back and refresh, and yes, I've got my custom fonts. So that's Montserrat, and that's Open Sans. All right, I'm going to make a few more changes. I'm going to add some custom colors at the top here, like so. All right, and then um, you can, uh, at the bottom, I'm going to import a logo, right? So I'm going to say, hey, if you see this class logo, use this particular image here, which I'm going to drop into this images folder. Just wait one second while I grab that. I'm going to grab it and drag it into the images file, images folder. Okay. I'm going to save that and recompile it. Now in my interview, I need a hook for this logo. So I'm going to go back to my DocAssemble interview and under logo, I'm just going to go um, ID equals logo. Um, ID equals logo for the mobile version. Save it. And now, oh, that's not the save I want. I got to use Docker symbol save. There we go. And now, if I refresh, there we go. I have a logo. I have all my colors. Boy, that's looking slick. Finally, I just want to change this bar across the top so it's a light gray. I've got some code here to do that, paste that, DA body nav bar. So doing all this design requires you digging into what are some of my SAS variables and what are some of the CSS things that I need to hook onto um, in, in DocAssemble. But really the key here is being able to iterate really quickly, make changes locally, and see them in DocAssemble. Well, there we go, I've got my nice light background bar and I'm, I'm pretty much done and if you want to see what this looks like live you could just go to people's law school sites to their template letters and, and agreements template agreement for sale of a used car here it is build your agreement and here's the production one that looks pretty much the same uh, see if we go through it seller well that's me I live in Victoria and uh, who's the buyer Max uh, headroom from Vancouver and he's going to buy our uh, BMW uh, 328. Well, that's exciting, but it's a 2009, and it's gray. And what's the vehicle number in? Well, let's put that in. Odometer reading, 108,000. Um, what's oh, used cars are expensive right now, right? We'll get them a certified check, and um, I think we'll get them to pay what 2023. Oh. Yeah, I just got to move my video and we'll pick today and today and continue. Is it being sold with any warranties? No, no warranties. No inspection. Continue, continue, continue. <clears throat> and now it's generating my document. All right. If I download that document, show in Finder, let's have a look. 
Oh, nice. That looks like an agreement for the sale of a used vehicle. Awesome. Anyway, I thought you might want to see what it looks like. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Um, over here in, in, in Doc Assemble, we if we're if we're all done developing, then we want to go into our styles and we want to now comment out this local this accessing of the local file like this that's only for development, and then we want to reference a file that is within our Doc Assemble package like so. So I save it, and I'm going to add a new file. It's my build dot css and where's that css coming from yes it is the compiled version right over here styles.css so this is what the little bootstrap sas compiler created i'm going to control a copy all of it and now paste it into here like so and save it and if i did it right if i refresh this there it still looks the same right so now it's all contained within our package. And that is really the whole key to, to making this happen, right? And that should allow you to develop a complex design like this because you can iterate quickly by accessing a, a local CSS file that you're running within Visual Studio. Uh, so that's it for this demo. Um, yeah. Thanks.